Well, something happening that looks kind of Halloweenish, a little spooky <laughs> out there, is the fog. It's it was so dark this morning because of the, the right. thickness of the fog. Well, Selena backed me up on this because I felt weird. You know, you come through the Fort Pitt tunnel. And I promise you for about five seconds and you know, it's early in the morning, so maybe that was it too. But for about five seconds, I literally thought that the lights were off and that the electricity was off in downtown Pittsburgh. I, I think I could see the buildings, but I couldn't see any lights. I don't know how that's possible. But Selena also said that that is exactly what she saw as well as she was coming in. Hey, here's a look outside right now. It's 56 degrees. Your temperature uh, visibility is at seven miles of wind out of the south at five miles an hour dew point and the temperature is the same. That means we are sad saturated at the surface. One of the reasons for that is all the rain that we've seen over the past couple of days. We also have warmer air rolling in uh, from the north. Hey, here's a look at those visibilities. Now what's happening, even though we do have a layer of fog out there, it's generally just above the surface this morning. So our visibilities at the surface aren't too bad. As long as you're not looking up, then you're going to be able to see pretty decently. My concern is that in some spots, very isolated, we could see that fog on the ground. That would mean some very ch uh, rapidly changing conditions for you as you're driving. Be aware of that. Generally, visibilities aren't too bad. Hey, we do have dense fog advisories off to the east. This is going to be into Bedford, basically east of the uh, uh, Laurel Highlands is what we're dealing with there. And we also have some rain showers. This is going to be, even though you see the thunderstorms there, this will be mainly rain showers as it slides in this afternoon. We'll bring a brief round of some rain showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder as that slides in. The front slides through quickly uh, this evening and then lifts back up in the overnight hours. So our highs today will be into the 70s and we'll be back to the 70s tomorrow as well for those highs. Hey, Pittsburgh in this hour, 56 degrees, Cranberry 56, 52 in Greensburg. It's all the way down to 48 degrees in the Waynesburg area, though 75 your expected high. That rain chance, it's small, but it does remain in the forecast for this afternoon. Here's how I think your day breaks down. 1 o'clock temperature coming in at 73, 4 o'clock at 71, and your 7 o'clock temperature at 69 degrees. And overall, you can see your rain chances there. We'll keep it dry Thursday, and I have put in just extremely late in the day on Friday, 20% chance for rain mid 70s each one of those days. It's going to be nice. Cooler rain back as we're heading into your weekend.